Well, welcome back to another edition of Waiting for the Fall. Tonight we're going to do a little bow fishing at night with the crew from AMS and Matt Schillinger. Thank you much for having us out, Matt. You bet. Thanks for coming down, Chris. All right, we're, we're fishing on a lake in central Wisconsin here. Yep. It's April the 5th. Ice has been out uh, not very long, has it? No, we were down here last Saturday night. Mm -hmm. uh, water is really low, uh, but man, we got into a lot of carp out here on the flats. Um, they were feeding on the edges of the flats in the mud and sand, and uh, we just had a hoot in a couple hours. Well, Good great, time. great. I know last time we went out, uh, you may have seen it on a previous episode of uh, Pronghorn Productions TV, uh, and we were out late summer, right. and we were after surface feeders, and we didn't do so hot. No, we didn't do very well. Uh, they they're pretty spooky that night, if I remember they right. They made us pretty well yeah, that day. Yeah, so hopefully we'll <laughs> redeem ourselves on this trip. I so. hope so. I'd like to get us some, even some nice buffs. We got a chance of getting some nice buffs. That'd be, that'd be uh, cool. There's some really nice big quillbacks right now in here, so... Um, I think we'll get into some fish tonight. I think so too. I you got bet. a good feeling about it tonight. So let's get after him, huh? Let's do it, Chris. All right. They'd hurry up and shoot him so I could have my turn. Hey, we're on a roll. Two for the night, that's more than I shot all last year, I think. common. Good job. Yeah. Even when I think I miss, I hit. There we go. Fish. There you go. Oh, right. Look at him right here, Derek. I got him. You got one too? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Chris, there's one right in front of you over there. <laughs> Double, Derek. <laughs> awesome. They're out here thick. Nothing more fun than getting out at nighttime out here. Early spring, you turn around these flats. It's a blast. It's a good time. Plus, you're helping the flow into your system, getting rid of these invasive carp. You do a lot of disturbance, vegetation, disturbing up the bottom. That's good for the uh, for your your walleyes, your muskies, your crappies to clean the lakes out of these uh, carp here. Oh, 
Wow, these are all nice sized fish too, aren't they? Yeah. Look at that. That sounded good. That might be a double. Holy smokes. Yep. Triple! Triple! Yeah, I see it, I see it, I see it! Oh my. <laughs> Holy smoke, there's a big one back here too! Nice shot. Pop the middle now again. Mirror carp. This is the whole mirror carp. See his funky scales on them? Oh, yeah. Have scales in some spots. That's only the second time I've ever seen it here. So. Yep. We call them German carp too. German carp, yep. uh little mirror carbs. Kind of neat looking. Fish on. All kinds of them. So Shane, what are we up to? Five or six? I, I quit counting, so Shane gets to shoot after I hit ten, so another nice common right here. We're going for the bucket. Blind Ambition Bail Blind. Camouflage dates back hundreds of years and has evolved greatly over the recent years. Blind Ambition Hay Bale Blind goes a step further. Instead of blending into the environment, it is a normal part of the environment. Wildlife only recognize hay bales as harmless objects. So take advantage and hunt from the comfort of a spacious blind that offers superior concealment and its appearance is so commonplace that wildlife sees it as another hay bale. Order yours today at blindambitionbaleblinds.com. Pronghorn Productions capturing your once in a lifetime memories. Whether it's turkey hunting in the Wisconsin woods or fishing the wilds of our country's beautiful lakes and rivers, have us capture those moments on tape and edit them into a wonderful keepsake DVD for you to share these once in a lifetime events with friends and family. Have a special hunting or fishing trip planned? Consider us for capturing your event to keep those memories alive for a lifetime. Pronghorn Productions offers professional videography and editing services for all of your outdoor needs. So, for the best video and editing, call my dad at 438-7250. Or visit our website at www.pronghornproductions.net. Now let's get back to the action. Fish on! There's one Chris, right to, to your left. That was too easy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> not bad, not bad. <laughs> There's this for everywhere in here. 
Okay, last one, Shane, and then we're switching. Oh my God. Look at over here. Oh my God. Right here in front. See him? Yep. Nice job. Oh, he got off. Time now for Waiting for the Falls Weekly Product Spotlight. This week, our product spotlight focuses on AMS bow fishing products. Now the AMS Retriever Pro has many features on it that make it unique. One of the features is instead of having a push button reel as some bow fishers use, this actually free spools all the time until you pull back on the lever. The lever actuates a ball in the, inside the retriever and allows you to crank the line back into the bottle. Now, as I said, most reels that are push button style, if you forget to push the button and you shoot, that line's going to kick back on you and you might get an arrow back in your leg or in your arm. This is a very safe system, very quick system. After you shoot the fish, you pull back on the lever, reel it back and you've got your arrow back and you're pulling the fish in the boat. So as you can see, I've got the Retriever Pro attached to my AMS Fish Hawk, but the neat thing about the Retriever Pro is this. It's got a universal mount so you can mount it to any bow you'd like. So any bow that has tapped holes in the riser for a quiver mount will accept the Retriever Pro. So you don't have to go out and spend a whole lot of money on a, on a new setup to go out bow fishing. All you need to do is pick up a Retriever Pro, comes with the bracket. If you've got an old bow laying around that you don't use for hunting anymore, or even your, your deer rig, you can rig it up and you can go shoot fish tomorrow if you want. So that's our product spotlight for this week. I want to say a big congrats to our lucky winner of the Rip Shot, which we featured two weeks ago on the premiere episode of Waiting for the Fall, Brian Abenson of Madison, Wisconsin. Big congrats again, Brian. I hope that Rip Shot serves you well. Now, if you want a chance to enter to win the product spotlight for this week, look for the code word, which is conservation. Send it in to the email at pronghornproductionstv at yahoo.com and we'll pick from the lucky winners next week and you may have a chance to win your AMS Retriever Pro. Fish on! Hey, that away! Oh, you lipped him. Yep, yep. Your first carp? The area. First cut right here. Alright. Good job, Shane. How's that first one feel? Pretty good. Glad to have it off my chest. Right there. We can at least show you some fish this trip here. Oh yeah, we're having a <laughs> lot better time this Oh, wow, they are thick in here, huh? Oh yeah. Wow. Fish on! Not a bad one. Yeah, this one. Nice shot. out here in central Wisconsin. Gotta love bow fishing.
a big wad of fish there, huh? Wow. A lot of fun. Like that, Shane? Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> it's addicting. Yes, it is. Good shot, Derek. Got him. Good shot. Here, you come right in front of me. Nice. Nice shot. Good shot. Yeah. That was a good shot. Oh, look at right here, Derek. supply store and pick up some barrels. Good thing I got three. Yeah, you'd have a mess in the bottom of the boat in the morning. Ooh, ooh, yeah. <laughs> Home. Nice job. Nice job. <laughs> Everyone's a good one to add to the bucket. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, the string broke. I don't know if Shane didn't have the arrow quite knocked or if there's a weak spot in the string. Sorry, we got a backup though. When the action gets fast and furious like this, sometimes things can happen and it's nobody's fault. But it is why we bring a backup bow and Shane was back to shooting in no time. Oh! 
There's a good one. There you go. That's a nice common right there. You hear a lot of muscles in that April is good fight. You don't hear in the water. Bullfish is man, I'm telling you it's addictive. Like a free for all. Yeah. Oh, we got one. Don't you say we all missed. Double. I think double. We that double. I think the guy that said that was the only one that missed. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that said it. You missed them. <laughs> Good job, Steve. <Jake. laughs> that away. There's fish everywhere. They're everywhere in here. Hello. They're just thick. We got three fish on. <laughs> you got one too, Shane? Yep. All yep. right. Woo! Nice. Laying the smack down tonight, boy. The old fish hogs and fight eagles are doing their jobs. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, uh, we cleaned up on them tonight, didn't we? Yes, three, we three full barrels in what, like two hours time or so? Yes, it was, it was a lot of fast paced action. The carp were very cooperative on this trip for you to come down here. Very. Awesome. If you saw from the video, I don't know if you could notice or not, but there was a lot of flats out there. The water is a little, little low yet. Yeah, yes, it is, yes. Mm -hmm. They have the, the, the dams are open uh, because of the runoff right now. There's a lot of flats, a lot of stumps, but uh, that was holding the carp. That's where the carp are, yes, yeah. they were holding right yeah. in there. It was neat because you could watch them in the deep water. You could just see the ripples going ahead of us. And then as soon as we'd hit a flat, they'd be all over yes. the place. Yes, yeah, we were pushing them. Yeah. yeah. Anybody that's never tried bow fishing, yes. yeah. you got to try it once because once you try it, you're going to be hooked. You're hooked. Yeah. So all it takes is one time on the water, shooting yeah. fish, having a good time, yeah. laughing. So till next time, take a youngster in the outdoors and pass on our hunting and fishing and bow fishing traditions to the next generation. I'm Chris Kittleson. For Matt Schillinger from yep. AMS, you bet. we'll see you later. Waiting for the Fall would like to thank our fine sponsors for making this show possible. Blind Ambition Bail Blinds, a new innovative twist on ground blind hunting. The Rip Shot from Rip Archery. You tune your bow, now tune yourself. True Fire, the most trusted name in broadheads and releases. 